Hi guys, in this video I will show you how to make this crystal effect starting from modeling. Let's start with creating crystal model in Blender. Add a new mesh, mesh uh, con and uh, open these settings, set uh, base fill type nothing, uh, four vertices and uh, uh, go to edit mode and move it uh, upside. Then add a new modificator, uh, add mirror and set that uh, side. After that uh, apply this modificator uh, uh, and uh, go to sculpting mode. Uh, in sculpting no mode you need to remesh this uh, simple model. So go to this tab, set uh, voxel size 0 0.001 and press remesh. And uh, after that select uh, this uh, trim uh, uh, trim brush and uh, uh, go to brush settings and select front faces only and uh, start your uh, scooping. Uh, start with doing this uh, simple things but uh, first go to dynopo dynotopo and uh, enable it okay uh, and set dynopo uh, using air button for size like maybe like this and uh, after that you can start i prefer strange 0.5 After you finish with your basic shape, uh, just select smaller size uh, and then uh, just uh, uh, work on, uh, on the corners of this uh, model. After you finish to make small details, you can start to make your low poly model. Go to layout, then add a new model, uh, mesh, uh, let's start with plane. Uh, then add a, modif a modifier, uh, a shrink wrap and select uh, this object. Uh, your crystal. Uh, after that enable ma uh, magnet with uh, uh, snap target face and uh, go to uh, this tab and enable face orientation and then go to ed edit mode and enable here um, retopology. Then uh, I will rotate this model. Okay. Uh, and uh, let's start placing these uh, uh, triangles. Uh, so I will disable face orientation. It will be easier to work uh, with without it. And uh, start to remesh. Uh, it's not necessary to make uh, everything by keywords because this model uh, uh, 
won't uh, deform in our uh, effect. So just use uh, uh, triangles and cuts uh, uh, wherever uh, you want. After you finish, uh, apply your modificator, uh, then um, go to UV editing and uh, create a smart UV project. Uh, after that, uh, you can uh, rename this uh, mesh, for example, I will rename to crystal1. Uh, and also uh, it's better to remain uh, your uh, high poly model after that uh, uh, press ctrl a uh, and uh, apply all transform on crystal one and the same for uh, high poly crystal also i forgot to say that it's very important to make uh, a smooth shading for your model uh, so uh, without it uh, uh, there can be some weird artifacts uh, then go to export fbx if you export it uh, for unity you need uh, to uh, press this uh, apply transform button disable animation disable uh, add lift bonds uh, select uh, normal smoothing face uh, and uh, export only uh, selected objects because uh, uh, first uh, we need to export this model separately and also uh, apply scaling fbx unit scale because unity use units and uh, press export do the same with your high poly modi high poly mod model press export and rename it to high poly after that we need to texture a model. I prefer to do it using Substance Painter instead of Blender. Uh, just uh, add your uh, model here. Just simple model, not uh, high poly. Uh, and uh, press OK. Uh, after that uh, go to your uh, Mesh Map settings and press Bake Mesh Maps. Uh, here select your high poly model. Uh, you need to uh, to remove this uh, red uh, sides by increasing this max frontal distance and press back uh, uh, press back yeah and return to painting mode uh, here you can see some artifacts so we need to bake it again uh, back again and uh, let's see a result okay i need to increase uh, max rear distance and max frontal distance uh, let's uh, bake it again uh, and let's see okay i need to increase it one more time bake again oh again Okay, maybe this distance. Yeah, it was this distance. Uh, after that, we need to find some good uh, crystal material. Uh, I uh, often use this uh, site, so I will use this material. Uh, I need to download it and let's import it to uh, our current uh, session add resources uh, select this material that you downloaded or maybe you bought uh, some paid one and press import and here is it uh, go to uh, material settings and change projection to triple tri triple nr uh, after that uh, uh, go to uh, smart masks 
and apply edge uh, strong mask or maybe maybe okay this mask and uh, also dust soft too and uh, maybe fabric edge or even this mask Uh, then export uh, you can also add uh, uh, here uh, emissive channel but uh, I prefer uh, to work without it so after that uh, press file uh, export textures and uh, select here select here PBR uh, metallic roughness and uh, press export once uh, you have your textures ready import them into unity and create a new particle system uh, set shape to zero set position uh, set emission to uh, boost one particle uh, set speed to zero and uh, uh, change render mode to mesh and select this crystal mesh that you created uh, also set render alignment to local uh, and uh, now you can uh, uh, you can create a new material uh, I use uh, uh, universal render pipeline so I will uh, create universal render pipeline particles um, maybe lead material uh, then select your textures uh, base uh, uh, normal uh, and uh, metallic after that uh, you can also enable emission and select uh, this uh, texture also for emission and uh, let's check uh, this material on the model okay uh, I will change the size for the model maybe this size will be better 0.3 and uh, I think it will be better if I increase this emission value like this. Okay, that looks good. Uh, also set uh, surface type to transparent and disable uh, preserve specular lightning. And now we can change uh, opacity using uh, uh, color in the particle system and uh, uh, create this uh, color curve. Uh, 20 and 80 percent but uh, set duration to 4 uh, for this pause uh, after that uh, you can add some glow or particles for the glow just use simple brush and create uh, a texture that looks like uh, this just one point and export it without black background for this glow create a new material and select uh, particles uh, standard uh, elite or maybe uh, create your own shader graph shader and uh, set uh, rendering mode to transparent and, co and color mode to or maybe uh, render mode to fade and color mode to multiply then uh, enable soft particles to side and uh, set your uh, texture and uh, increase uh, emission value to 3 but don't use uh, this emission value only use albedo uh, albedo will, ma will make uh, the emission then copy this uh, crystal and uh, select uh, render mode to stretch and billboard then uh, enable speed and uh, select this material after that uh, enable freedom stretching uh, set land scale to 0 0.5 and uh, enable shape and rotate it minus 90 degrees uh, after that uh, change uh, the color uh, to uh, the same color as uh, your crystal and uh, move it uh, uh, to the background using sorting fudge value for example 5 
this crystal is transparent so it's better to increase these uh, values to make shorter pause uh, okay I don't know what's wrong with this particle. Okay, now I, now I understand. Uh, I need to increase the size and uh, change this emission value. Mm, something like this. Uh, after that, you can use the same particle system and uh, the same particle uh, for sparks just duplicate it uh, then go to emission set uh, particles rate over time to uh, 100 uh, set size uh, very small for example um, 002 uh, and 0 0.1 uh, set lifetime from uh, 1 to from 0 1 0 0.1 to 1 duration set to also 1 set speed to maybe 1 and uh, 3 uh, change shape to sphere uh, and um, uh, set uh, limit velocity over lifetime uh, value 0, 0 0.1 and uh, uh, increase uh, the emission And you can uh, uh, change color over lifetime to make it uh, disappeared over a lifetime and uh, make it uh, smaller also over a lifetime. Uh, I think it's better to decrease the speed. And uh, also decrease the emission. Uh, so now we have this uh, beautiful crystal effect. Also, you can experiment with your crystal shape, colors, uh, act, and make your effect really unique. So, I hope this video helped you, and see you in the next one.